Hey, so this morning I asked you to leave me any questions. Seven years ago though, when we had Roberto Martinez in charge for the first What's thing. going on everyone? It's Mike back again. And look who I'm with. Rose, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, um, I'm Rose um, and I'm known uh, as Everton Rose on YouTube. Thanks for having me. No, thanks for coming on. It's a it's a privilege. But to be fair, we've spoke about this a couple of times, but obviously, yeah. it's 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 just great to have you on. How are you? How are you finding lockdown? It's pretty boring. Um, struggling to find things to do. Missing the football as well. Um, what about you? Yeah, it's killing me. To be honest, it's absolutely killing me. But I appreciate it has to be done. If you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, well, I prepared a few questions, but obviously it's just sort of a free flow chat, really. But what, right. what, so what, what, it's, it's a question that I haven't necessarily asked, but what made you start supporting Everton then? Um, so I'm from the Midlands. Um, I lived in the country, but I was born in Liverpool um, oh. and I stayed up there for a couple of months. And so I do kind of have two teams. Um, firstly, my dad supports Coventry. So we went there, I had a season ticket, all of that, because you do follow your dad's team. Um, yeah. But about 10 years ago, I just, it was kind of in that phase when like, Everton had Arteta and Cahill and players like that. And I just enjoyed watching them. Okay. Coventry and Everton were just I made the choice to follow and being born there. It just yeah. made sense. Yeah, fair enough. So, um, so what made you start your YouTube channel? Um, so again, growing up in the Midlands, you don't tend to meet many Everton supporters. Like there's loads of United, loads of Liverpool, Arsenal even, but you don't have many that you can talk to Everton about. About and thinking about it for a while, I started it about a year ago now. Yeah, and almost. And I just thought it would be nice to have um, a group of fans to talk about and, and, and I to share my views on the game, like good or bad, and just see what yeah. people think. Um, and you know, I love Everton, so it's it's nice to do in your free time. What yeah. about you? Why why did you start your channel? Yeah, well, to be honest, it's exactly the same reason. Um, so my dad, my dad is is a is a scouser. The whole family is, is scousers. But when they moved, when dad moved down, obviously met my mom. The magic happened. Yeah. I'm now here. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was always about interaction and and building a platform that people can sort of share their views because at the time. I didn't necessarily feel that fans' views were um, echoed enough or promoted enough. So that's the reason I made the channel, yeah. really, just to give people a platform to sort of speak their mind, really, and, and talk about how good or yeah. bad performances was. Um, yeah. yeah, that's really it, really. Um, so what's your favourite memory or your best memory of Everton? Um, my favourite recent one has to be so I went to Goodison a couple of years ago uh it was 2017 um and we it was the game we beat Hull 4-0 okay. so I was at that one it was when the whole the Kaku situation was happening and like he kept he turned down the contract but then he scored two goals and everyone was trying to show their support so it's kind of it's good and bad because he did leave but it's it's a good one for me because um, the other few games I've been to, so I was at the is it 2015, 2016, the United semi-final at Wembley. I was there. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. That was a horrible memory. But uh, yeah, a favourite one is probably the whole game um, where we were beaten 4-0. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, fair enough. Yeah, and I can... Yeah. 
I could completely understand that. I was at Wembley that day as well, and um, yeah, yeah, that was heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your uh, what's your thoughts on this season then? Um, so I think from about August to December, just dreadful. I think it has to be one of the best performing Everton sides. I think we won like I think I looked it up. We won like four games in that period at Marco Silva, and it wasn't it wasn't the results. It was just the well, it was the results. But the main thing for me was like the performances were just so bad. Yeah. Um, and we just couldn't wouldn't, like we'd score like if we could play there all night and just then nothing happened. Yeah. The one that sticks out is the one against Villa and against Sheffield United where we were just <laughs> atrocious so for like ninety minutes. Um, but like since then, since December when Ferguson took over and then Angelotti's come in, much better. Um, and it's a shame. Obviously, like we said, with the virus and that, it has to happen. But it's a shame that we haven't had the chance to carry on um, with him in charge. Yeah, I agree. And I think I think it's been... Um, I think there's such a different direction. First, with Ferguson walking in, there was such a different sort of ethos and approach to Marco Silva. And then, yeah. you know, I, I've always said, and I've said this for about two and a half years now, if you want Everton to be a team that challenges for the title... You have to have a manager and the players who are used to doing that. Yeah. And Ancelotti is that man. So I'm excited about where Everton can go and what can happen. And I think you're right to point it out. Under Marco Silva, and even there was the period last season where yeah. we looked awful and he only got it right at the end of the season and probably got let off the hook. But yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't good. I think you saw it. It wasn't good. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, the, the one thing I would still say, though, is that I just, I need need to see us that I'm just like, I, we, can we just beat Liverpool? I said this in, like, the last... Um, out and we we'd still lose like we'd hit the ball off the cone in the last 90th minute and lose it would just I don't know what it is but yeah we need to sort that out but as you say like having a manager that's won things and hopefully can instill that mentality in the players that we get in we can actually give them a game at least and not get thrashed like yeah. we have been it's mentality and I just think it falls down to the play if, if you've got a certain group of players that are used to yeah. losing they're going to be used to losing. And yeah. Carlo Ancelotti's got to do a lot to change that, But which is positive, and I think he will. Just takes yeah. time. I, you know, we could still have a ropey season next season because it's going to take a long time to change a mentality that is probably 25 to 30 years old at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what's our weaknesses then in the team? If you was to pick areas, what's our weaknesses? Um, midfield is the first one that just strikes me. Um, I like Gomez. Um, I really want Tom Davis to do well, but it's, it's like I'm getting tested. Um, Sigurdsson, I can't really, I don't want to say anything about him. I would be really negative. Um, yeah, midfield, we just need to sign. I like Grealish. I know that he has his personal issues, like he's, a little bit silly off the pitch, but on the pitch, he's way better than anything that we have. I think was it in the paper this week that, or last week that we were being linked with him, like trying to get him. I would like just because he's so much better yeah. than anybody we have in midfield in that position. Um, but I also think like a big weakness is just all the deadwood that we have, like yeah. Sandro, Bassi, Tosin. Like there's so many players that are just not good enough. And we can't get rid because people know they're not good enough now. Um, so I think they're my main two. I also think maybe right back needs yeah. to be sorted. Um, is Kenny coming back? I wouldn't sign to DB. I don't know what your opinions are on that, but I wouldn't go. Yeah. But yeah. Like he did a couple of good crosses um, two months ago, but like he, positionally he's just atrocious. I, I wouldn't spend the money on him. No, but, yeah, no. I think three. I mean, three. 
weaknesses. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree in all of those. Um, I, I think I think it's something that he will address. We need a ball carrying midfielder. We need a new right back. Arguably a new goalkeeper as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been spoken about. Yeah. So yeah, I, I completely agree. So so based on that then, and you've mentioned Grealish, um, what signings would you like Carlo Ancelotti to make? Um, yeah, so Grealish is is one of them. If it could happen, that would be one that I'd go for. Um, yeah. So right back, I like Doherty from War- twenty eight. So yeah. he's 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 getting on, not getting on, but you know he'll give us our last few years, the next few years, and that's it. I like him, I think, because he can play right back, he can play left back. He's also, he can go forward, but I think he's also better defensively yeah. um, than what we have. But look into the future, if you, if you are building for the future. I like Max Ahrens as well from Norwich. I think he's going to be a good player. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess those two to start with. And I know that um, Ancelotti has his contacts from Napoli. Can't say I know too much. much about them I can't yeah. remember any of them but yeah yeah I think that's what he'd go for yeah I think I think for me I think I I think players like I mean I would love Everton to go and sign Jack Grealish I would love Max Aaron's I would love Dres Mertens from Napoli yeah, yeah like yeah. an like a new goalkeeper but I don't know who I think I'd probably say Nick Pope from Burnley um, yeah. But it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult because, you know, we're not the guys who make the decisions. They are. So we only get to, to deal with what's been left after their uh, brilliance or their madness. Yeah. Well, I just say like, I think our recruitment has been a bit mad um, yeah. in the last few years. I remember it was it 2017 when we signed Rooney, Clarsen, Sigurdsson, like all in the same position, essentially. Yeah. Like we had like three <laughs> number 10s and then Calvert-Lewin at right back. That was a interesting. <laughs> but like, you know, so I don't know what, what, what we'll do. I, will, I think it will be better, but um, we'll see. Yeah, it's going to take time. <laughs> well, Rose, thank you ever so much for coming on my channel. I really appreciate it. No, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, well, you know, every every so often, just you know, we'll talk and we'll we'll you know we'll we'll link up and we can um, tell me what games you go to this season or next season, depending yeah. on what happens. And, yeah. And we can you know meet up and and we can all sort of John will be there as well and Cam from the Mighty Blues. So there'll be a few of us. Good little community. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Right. I shall see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.